Hello friends, I thought I would do a short video to share with you how to find and download the SVG digital files that Close to My Heart has that match with our coordinating paper suites in every seasonal catalog, and then show you how to upload it to Des Design Space if you are a Cricut lover, okay? So I'm on the main page of my website. Again, this is gonna look different based on what month you're looking at. But I'm going to go ahead and shop this collection. The January featured collection of this year is Are We There Yet? So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll over to the second page and I'm going to see the Are We There Yet? digital art collection. So these are all of the digital SVG files that perfectly match the paper and the stickers, the embellishments, the Picture My Life cards. Total must have. This is the only place that you can get it. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and just add this to your cart shop, check out. Once you're done and you have purchased it, here's what you're gonna go do. Go up to the top, you should still be logged in, click on your name, and then go down to account. Over on the left, you're going to see a link that says digital library. Now, you're gonna see these are the collections I just um, purchased today. So the Are We There Yet is here, but I've also got the other two that are featured in this current catalog. So what you're going to do after you've purchased this and you see it in your digital library is go over here and click on the download button. I'm not going to download it again because I've already done that. But when you click on this, you are going to have this collection downloaded into whatever spot on your computer or device that your downloaded files go to. Most people have a download folder. Um, so basically, you need to know where your computer files are downloaded to, okay? Once that's done, you are going to, um, like on my computer, I'll see like a download button so I can kind of see the progress it's making, and it will download as a zip file, which is basically a file that has all of these images, but they're compressed to make it easy to access. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my download folder. And you can see up here at the top, here is the um, Are We There Yet collection. Now, I had to double click on that zip file to kind of open it and expand it. So make sure that you do that. So right here, you can see this Are We There Yet digital collection dot zip. Do you see that? You're going to need to double click that to expand it. When you do, you are going to have a folder right here. Um, if you're on a Mac, it might look a little different based on how your computer is set up or what you're using, but you're going to see now a folder that has all of the images in this specific collection. So when you start looking down here, you're going to see all of these SVG files. These are the file types that work great as digital files in Cricut Design Space. Now, before we do anything, I want you to go down to the image set or the file that ends in PDF. So if we double click on this, it's actually gonna bring up a PDF document that's going to show you a picture of every single image that's included in this file. It's super nice. At the bottom, it will show you exactly what this is and you can see the individual images along with the completed layouts and anything else that is included there. Before you do anything else, click print and print this on your computer. So if I've already done mine, I've got mine here and I'm ready to go. We'll talk about that later. So I'm gonna click out of that, okay? So we've got all of our SVG files here. Now here's what we're going to do. I have actually already uploaded all of these except for this very last one, this adventure banner. So what I'm gonna share with you here, I've already done with all of these above. It only takes 30 seconds, maybe, probably less for each file, but I wanna show you exactly how to do this. So I'm going to open up my Cricut Design Space at this point. So I'm looking at Cricut Design Space. I've clicked on this canvas link, so I'm looking at a blank canvas. Over here on the left, you're gonna see a button that says Upload. You're gonna click on the Upload button, and you're gonna see this spot that says Upload Image. This is what I want to do. I wanna take those files that I purchased that are now on my computer and my downloads, and I want to upload and move them into Cricut Design Space. Now what's nice is that this will show your recent uploads. So you can see these are all of the ones from that same collection that I have already uploaded, which is also really a nice way to see them because they will always show here. So here's what we're gonna do. Again, remember I've already done these, but I do have one last image that I haven't done because I want to show you this process. Click on Upload Image, 
And then if you have a large enough screen and you have this open, you can just drag and drop the files here or just click on browse. I'm gonna go ahead and click on browse. And then it's going to take me over to my computer where again, I can click on downloads and I can find that folder that they were in. Thankfully, I'm already here, okay? But you could click on downloads, click on Are We There Yet Collection. And remember, the only one that I haven't done yet is, um, what was the last one that I did? I think it was the suitcase because this is showing in a little bit different order, okay? Um, what we're going to do here is click on the suitcase actually. Maybe it was the trip of a lifetime. Let's click on trip of a lifetime, okay? Yeah, there we go. So on trip of a lifetime, we are going to go ahead and open this up. And you're gonna see this is what the image looks like. The image name is already saved. So the first thing that you can do, you can do this now or you can do it later, is you can take that PDF and then go over to where it says the trip of a lifetime and you can write down trip of a lifetime as the image name. Now this tags below, this is optional, but it is not optional for me. This is not optional for close to my heart because we wanna make it really easy to find things that we have um, uploaded later. So I am going to add two hashtags, okay? You can add as many as you want, but the first one is just a hashtag CTMH and then I'm gonna do a space. And then I am going to add the hashtag that is located and featured in the Close to My Heart idea books on the very last page. So what I mean by that is if you'll open up your catalog, this is the current catalog we're working with, and you see that we have, sorry, it's, ugh, I can't go back that far. Like here is January, are we there yet? Close to My Heart has already assigned it a hashtag so you can look up artwork and things on social media. This is hashtag CTMH, are we there yet? I am going to use that same hashtag, okay? So it's going to be hashtag C-T-M-H, are we there yet? This is super important because it's gonna make it so much easier to find this specific um, image collection later. And then I'm gonna click on upload, okay? Now, once I've done that, you can see that this is showing in my recent uploads. That's all there is to it. So you can just go through your list, keep clicking on upload image, and you're gonna go single file by file for each of those SVGs. Again, it's just seconds for each one. It doesn't take long, so that part's really easy. Now here's what I want to show you, okay? If I went and clicked on these three little dots right here in the top corner, it's gonna show me the name of this, which is Trip of a Lifetime, and then down below it, you are going to see a hashtag and then a number that starts with M, okay? So if you will go ahead and pull out your SVG, or your SVG, your PDF, um, I like to actually write this number down next to this because this is gonna be a reference sheet for me. So um, you can see that I've already done that for one of these above. So our adventure, it's called Adventure Banner, that's the name of it. Here is the number. So we've got the hashtag sign and then it's M44D9914B. I just take a second, it doesn't have to be a printed fancy label, just jot it down really quick. I've already put the hashtag up in the corner, hashtag CTMH, are we there yet? But this is gonna be a reference point for me later. So I like to do this just for my own quick reference, okay? So now here is what's really fun. Let's click out of this. Let's say we have uploaded all of our images, we're done, all the image sets are in there. If you go to Canvas, and then over here on the left, we are going to click on Images. Okay, now make sure that there aren't any filters that are set or anything like that, okay? But we can go up into search in all images and I am going to type this hashtag, C-T-M-H, are we there yet? Now what's gonna happen when I click on that search button is it's gonna show me these results and you can see that it's giving me the images that I just included and um, added that hashtag to. Do you see how easy that is? If I just typed in um, close to my heart or are we there yet, there aren't any tags associated with it. So I would have to basically dig through everything in Cricut Design Space to try to find it. This is the easiest way to do it. The other thing that I can do is click out of that. I'm gonna type in that hashtag with the letter M. So for example, this Our Adventure, and I have that um, hashtag right here, I can type in M, 44D9914B. I'm just typing in what I've already written down, 
When I do that, it brings up that one specific file because I've tagged it as that. So that's super important for you guys to know. Don't skip that step. Even though in Cricut Design Space, it says it's optional, don't skip it because it will help you so much to try to look through and find images that you know you've already purchased, you know you've already uploaded them, but it's there's a lot of images, like hundreds of thousands of images in Cricut Design Space. And if you're just doing a random search like mm, adventure, it's gonna bring up everything that's ever been uploaded that has the word or the, the phrase adventure in it. Um, and every once in a while, it won't even show up what you need. So those are a must tag. Do not skip the tab or the tag section, okay? So hopefully that will help you as you are working on getting your images in design space and make this really easy for you, okay? Have a great day, guys. Thank you.